Today I'm going to show you guys how to go from this to this. girls and welcome back to my channel. I am Jana, aka Jana Roller Fit and I am so excited that you guys are joining me here on my channel for a brand new series. I'm so excited. So the new series that I'm coming out with is called Just the Tip and what that is is I'm going to be sharing with you every Tuesday a brand new tutorial on various different topics such as fitness, health, beauty, whatever you guys want me to do a tutorial on. I am going to do it. If you are new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to see you again. So before we dive into today's tutorial, make sure that you subscribe before you leave. Like and share this video and don't forget to comment below. I always love chatting with you guys and if you aren't already following me on IG, make sure you follow me there too. I've got lots of good content on IG. So this week, what are we doing a tutorial on? We are going to be doing brows. You kind of named it. I'm a little browless right now. <laughs> it feels so weird. But this is my natural brow color and you guys always go nuts in my Instagram DMs asking me to do a brow tutorial. So you guys asked, you guys are going to get it. So I hope you enjoy the video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. Alright, so there are so, so many tutorials out there on how to do brows. I have fallen in love with um, actually like putting some brow on just because my brows are naturally so light and I felt like just tinting them wasn't enough so I tend to leave them just their natural color so that um, I can change whatever color I want to, especially if I dye my hair. I'm back to being a redhead, I have been for a while. Um, I'm naturally a strawberry blonde, as you can see from my brow color, but I like to just leave my brows natural so that I can fill them in, and color them with whatever look that I'm doing. Sometimes they're darker, sometimes they're more on the brown. I'm gonna be doing more of like an auburn -y red color so that kind of matches my hair. So before we get in, I'm gonna show you guys what products I like to use and products that I use depend on how I'm feeling that day. Sometimes I really like to simplify my process and sometimes I like to go a little bit dramatic or glamorous or all out, which I feel like is going to really suit this look today. So the products that I'm going to be using is the Anastasia Brow Wiz. You guys can see that there in the color Auburn, and this is Dip Brow. Um, you also need a very thin style um, angle brush. Really professional, Jenna. <laughs> thin style angle brush and I like to use a bit of brow gel so this just kind of really sets the hairs into place so I use this as a brow primer and this is the Bravo conditioning primer by Benefit. I actually got this in a kit and I really love it. I do find that some brow primers tend to be like really gooey or they just kind of like make a really dried mess. This actually doesn't. This just holds the brow brow hairs down nicely and doesn't like feel like glue and what I'm going to be using afterwards to really make the brows look a little bit more natural and kind of bring that hair look back in instead of it just being like a block of brow pomade is also by Benefit and this is the Gimme Brow and so this is like a tinted gel that you kind of put on afterwards It's got like a little mascara wand on the end of it And it just really separates those hairs and kind of just makes them again look more natural But you know the way that I like to do brows. I like to have them, you know Be glamorous, right? And I find that when I don't do my brows, I tend to look like I just have none. So let's go ahead, let's get some brows on. What I'm gonna do right now is actually go off camera, do one side, and then I'm gonna come back and show you how I do the other. So I will be right back. All right, and we're back. As you can see, it's quite a dramatic difference. I feel like brows really 
shape the face and the trick to a really good brow is making sure that your shape is good before you actually go applying any brow product. Um, if you try to put brow product on any brows that are not trimmed or waxed, it's just going to get really messy and it's just not going to look very nice. So you want to make sure that your brows actually already have a good shape because that's going to be your base. And key point here is you kind of want your brows to be like sisters. They're not going to be twins, right? They're not going to be identical twins or, you know, one brow always turns out better than the other and like this side is like my favorite side. This side of my brows always turn out good. It's kind of like, you know, you have your one favorite child. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I only have one child, so he's my favorite anyway. But joking aside, you don't worry about if your brows don't look exactly the same and they may not always have the same shape every single time you do them, but there is a couple of good rules to follow when you are actually creating the shape of your brow. Um, there's a few tips online that I had found like a long time ago and they're actually really accurate. So when you're doing your brows, you kind of want to take your angled brush and you kind of just want to look at like when you're shaping your brows, if you shape your brows at home, if not your esthetician, whoever's doing it for you should know this rule. But I do my own brows at home and if you guys want to see a tutorial on that, let me know down below in the comments. I would love to show you guys just, it's super fast, super easy to shape your brows at home and wax them. But what you want to do is you want to take your angled brush and you're going to look at where your brow, especially if you have sparse brows, you can draw these in, but you want the end of your brow closest to the corner of your eye to go right in line with the very corner of your eye here. You want your arch to be kind of where your pupil is. Now that would make my brow arch like really short and I didn't, I tried doing it, I didn't like it. So I actually bring it up just a little bit, just a little bit more to like the outside of my iris rather than in the middle of my pupil. And then you kind of want the end of your brow, if you just do a little bit of an angle like this, you want your end of your brow to kind of match the end of your eye. So having that nice arch shape, some people like to have their brows more straight. I like to have a nice arch in mine because I feel like it helps out like expression. <laughs> and you know, you want to be able to like, tip that eyebrow up. Um, so just creating that shape, even if you have sparse brows and you maybe don't need to even trim or wax your own brows, this is a really good rule to go by. Okay, so before we dive into actually putting the product on, I am going to prime my eyebrows. And this stuff is so amazing. This also kind of helps, I don't think it's like a quality of the product, but I do notice that it does help with like it being a little bit more waterproof. I have gone to the gym with brows on and come out with them still on. Um, a really great brow product that is waterproof is the NYX Tame and Frame. I sometimes do use that, um, but I kind of just really like the color of the Anastasia Brow Pomade. I find that the Auburn has like that really nice mix of like that ready brown and not like a muddy dark brown. So it kind of really helps accent with the color of my hair. So next what we're going to do is we're going to go in with our brow pomade. You can also do this with eyeshadows. You can do this with actual um, eyebrow powders. I do have a wonderful eyebrow powder palette that I like to use, especially when I'm doing makeup on clients. And for those of you that might not know, before I was a coach and before I was a personal trainer and a fitness nutritionist, I was a boudoir photographer for 10 years and I did makeup on my clients. I'm self-taught, but I did grow up painting and drawing. I'm very artistic. So for me, makeup was really easy to pick up because I already understood color theory and it was really just learning the techniques. And you can learn a lot on YouTube. Like that's why I love doing these makeup tutorials is because there's so many little simple tricks that you can learn and you can take them and use them um, and develop your own way of doing things, which is really great. I kind of when creating how I do my brows, I would watch other YouTubers and I would kind of take a little bit of everything that they were doing, try them out, and then I found just what worked for me. And I like my brow 
um, process to be like really simple. I don't want to spend a whole crap ton of time on my brows, so I very rarely will take concealer and cut them out and shape them afterwards. Um, I like to look good just after I'm done rather than trying to like clean it up and stuff. I will do that if I have to. Concealer is really great for that purpose, being able to clean up any mistakes, but we're going to try and not do that today and you know, in the words of the great Bob Ross, you know they're happy mistakes. We don't, we don't make mistakes, we have happy accidents. <laughs> Let's just let them be, unless it's like a line, then you really kind of want to deal with that. But So what you're going to do is, with the brow pomade, you're going to take it, and I like to take the littlest bit, I just like to push it in, and then just wipe it off on the edge of the pan, or the whatever jar, whatever you want to call it. And this is what I'm going to do right now is just outline the shape that I want. So I'm going to kind of match to this one as closely as possible. Um, and I'm just kind of following the natural shape that I have waxed. And I like to outline a little bit thicker than what my natural brow hairs are. And when I get to the arch, I kind of just start filling it in from there. And then just lightly bringing in the tail of my brow. And I'm going to define that a little bit better in a bit. I just want to make sure that I'm getting my shape. And I'm going to fill it in. And as I get closer to the inside of my eye, I'm just going a little bit lighter handed and this line underneath is pretty dark so what I'm doing is I'm just kind of lightly short little strokes just softening it out and so I notice right away that this eye has a little bit of a sharper arch and this one doesn't so I'm gonna try and match that so I'm just adding a little bit more product onto my brush, just a little bit. That's the thing with brow pomade is you don't need a whole lot, um, otherwise it's really easy to take things like too far. closer I'm just really really softly filling it in because I kind of want the end to not be so dark so that I can brush in little hairs and so when I actually go to use the other gel product it's gonna separate those hairs and make the brows just look a little bit more natural and a lot less um, cakey and I'm making sure that I'm stopping right at the corner of my eye and I'm going to draw in brows right there so that's why little brow hairs that's why I'm leaving it and I'm just gonna take the spoolie end and I'm just gonna brush in the direction of my hair growth just to soften it a little bit more and this is really what gives it a little bit more of that natural look I wouldn't wear this like quite like this for every single day makeup, like if I'm running errands downtown, if I'm meeting um, a client, or if I'm doing something where I need to look like a little bit more than just gym sweats and or pajamas, <laughs> then I'll do something like this, or a night out, um, I'll really go for a more glamorous brow. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking a little bit more onto the end of my brow pomade onto the end of my angle brush because now I'm going to draw in little itty brows. I've tried using like a pencil and I find that it just doesn't quite work as well because with the angled brush if you get a thin enough angle brush you can draw really thin lines and I've tried all sorts of brow product I've even tried those pens that are supposed to leave like brow hair streaks and they just dry up so fast and sometimes they'll actually move your foundation around so starting from the very end I'm just gonna draw a few hairs
And all it is is just a couple of little flicks. Do it a couple times. Oh, that's a lot of product. Ooh. So for this part, you just really want to be super light. And then soften. So we're getting there. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go in and do a couple more little hairs just on the inside. That looks pretty good. So I'm gonna take the Glam and Brow, which is just, this is a little mini version. I have to go get a bigger one. And I'm just gonna brush through the hairs to separate them and make them look a little bit better. And there we go. There we have it. Simple. And it may take you a little bit to kind of like figure out your own way of doing it. But once you get it, then you can really like hone in on it and make it a lot faster. All right guys, so that is the finished brows. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this Just The Tip tutorial. Just The Tip. If you have any ideas, any suggestions of tutorials you want me to do, make sure that you drop them below in the comment box and I am more than happy to do a tutorial for it. If I see multiples of the same things, then I'll probably do a tutorial um, or I might just pick a random one. Who? Friggin' notes. I like to be creative and I like to do fun and different things, so I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys suggest. So thank you again so much for tuning in for today's video, and I will see you guys in the next one.